Will you really want to smell the images on your computer screen in the future? IBM thinks so. This week, IBM predicted that over the next five years, computers will begin incorporating more of the five senses, including the two I'm most afraid of, taste and smell. I can smell his fear, Mommy. <laughs> it smells like bacon. We all realize computers have made astronomical leaps in the touch department, thanks to smartphones and tablets, and somewhat debatable leaps in hearing thanks to this. Is that rain? Yes, it appears to be raining. Oh. Of course, your own sense of sight and sound could have told you that without Siri's help since you're, I don't know, standing next to a f***ing window. And that's beside the point. Point being, IBM is predicting in five years computers will be able to perform basic sensory tasks. And if IBM says it's going to happen, you better believe them. After all, they created a program that kicked Ken Jennings' ass in Final Jeopardy. And we find, who is Stoker? I, for one, welcome our new computer overlord. <laughs> Now we come to Watson, who is Bram Stoker. Well, what kind of tasks are we talking about here? Well, for starters, they predict screens on smartphones could begin to imitate textures using vibrations and other tech, which, believe it or not, some companies are already developing. And when it comes to sight, IBM says computers will gain the ability to understand what an image is without having to rely on human interaction to identify it, thus making things like diagnosing early signs of disease from MRIs a faster and more accurate process. Additionally, advances in how computers understand and differentiate sounds could make things like Siri actually useful in the future. Describe what Marcellus Wallace looks like. What? Say what again? But here's where it gets crazy. IBM claims that researchers are already developing a computer that can experience flavor in order to help people create better tasting recipes by breaking down ingredients at the molecular level and then combining that information with the psychology of what flavors humans prefer. And sense of smell? Well, IBM is saying smell sensors could be embedded into computers or cell phones that will be able to analyze odors in your breath that could tell you if you were starting to get sick or not. While some may welcome these advances in tech, I just hope they aren't used for porn. That would be awful. And speaking of terrible things, people are losing their effing minds over the recent terms of service changes Instagram has made. Basically, what it boils down to is this. Instagram now has the right to sell any of the photos you post on the service to advertisers without actually paying you. Also, there's no way to opt out of it unless you have a time machine and remember that engineers worked for years to put a tiny micro camera onto a portable phone to take photos at a resolution comparable to off-the-shelf digital cameras and in turn you decided to take those photos and dunk them in a mud puddle to make them look cooler. In other words, you put your photos on the site in the first place, they can do whatever they want with them. Like it or leave it. The new policy goes into effect on January 16th, so you have a few more shopping days left to gather your filtered photos of food and head fuzzy hills to escape the changes unscathed. And now for today's t-shirt giveaway. So, what sense are you looking forward to experiencing through computers in the future? Let us know in the comments and you can win a TechFeed t-shirt, just like YouTuber in training who said in response to yesterday's question, do you think it's okay to post personal information, yes or no, or only for the biggest jerks? They said, while it isn't really right to post the personal information of the church publicly on the internet, I and many others will definitely not be the one to stand up for the Westboro Baptist Church and say, hey, that's wrong. Congratulations in training. For TFN, I'm Scott Bromley saying, I do not want to smell your pornography.